Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well during lockdown. Um, if you remember last week we're focused on the chicken carcass, we're going to make the chicken noodle soup here. Here's the carcass defrosted. Now, I want to keep the fillets separate because we're going to cut them thin and we're going to leave them to the side. Everything else is going to go into the stock, but to give my stock more depth of flavour, I want to roast my bones. It gives a nice colour to it, but it gives a nice umami kick to it as well. So I'm going to put this in the oven at 180 degrees for half an hour. Okay, so the chicken carcass should be done by now. Over here. So it's lovely, uh, golden brown and caramelized. And uh, to get that nice umami flavor into the broth, I'm just going to put that into the pot. You can see the chicken wings are nicely roasted off. I would love to eat them the way they are. Them in. You remember I put in the, um, the chicken skin? Well, this is the fat that came off the chicken skin. I'm going to put this in as well because this is more flavor. So we're going to put in some uh, some onions. I've got some garlic. There's just a whole bulb you can cut in half. You can get that in there as well. Uh, we've got some carrots. Carrots add a nice sweetness to it. Sliced ginger. A couple of sticks of celery there. We just cut in half. There's more ginger. We get all that in. Some of the aromatics I want to put in here is some black peppercorns. A cinnamon stick, some fennel seeds, some star anise, and then we've got some kaffir lime leaves. And then we'll put about four litres of water in here. Then all we do is turn that on and then put a lid on it. And I'll see you in four hours. Okay, so the stock's been going for four hours now, and I have to tell you guys, the smells coming from the stock are absolutely unbelievable. Here, you can see it's gone a little bit cloudy. If you do the stock kind of a boil, the proteins in the in the stock will coagulate and cause that um, kind of cloudiness, and that's fine. We're not fine dining or anything. We just want to get the really best flavor we can possibly get out of it. So everything I need from all the ingredients is now in that broth, and that's what I'm going to use now. The next thing I want to do is I want to start rehydrating these mushrooms. These are the mushrooms that I dried myself uh, about a month ago. I want to use fresh mushrooms, that's fine as well. But you'll find when I put this in here and add the stock into it, you'll find that all that lovely shiitake flavor will go into the stock. It'll rehydrate the mushrooms with the lovely stock from here, and you're just left with a really, really nice product. So I'm just going to put this in here. It doesn't take much to rehydrate these. You could do it boiling water, but the thing, when you're boiling water into it, the mushrooms still need to be cooked. So they still need to go on the heat. Okay, so we can see that's coming up to the boil now. Just gonna bring that down. Now in the meantime, I wanna let my stock um, strain. Okay, so I'm gonna take the carcass out. This smells delicious. I'm serving this with egg noodles. If you don't have egg noodles, a pasta is just as good. So get that strain there. Now, I want to turn these down a little bit. You can see you can see now these are starting to hydrate a bit. It's starting to get a little bit bigger. Put it back on, let it go back in the heat. Make sure this is all strained. Get as much of that lovely stock out as you possibly can. Give it a wee press there. And then, I'm gonna bring this out onto a truck and let it cool for a little bit. So you can see out of four liters, we have probably two and a half to three liters there. Mushrooms, I'm gonna switch off, pour the stock back in. You can see the color of the stock's slightly different. That's the lovely flavor from the shiitake mushrooms going into the broth. Now, I'm gonna bring this over here and I'm going to let this reduce. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna do the, the sesame oil with the chili. So here's my sesame seeds. These are my red chili flakes. Now you can use as little or as much as this as you want. So I'm gonna get these into the uh, pan, dry pan. I'm gonna toast these off. Chili flakes in there as well. Should take a couple of minutes, three to four minutes toasting this. Now when you get to this stage, you can see to start popping like pop popcorn, sand in your oil. Get the oil hot, get to a point where Everything's going to start confusing together. The oil starts getting the flavor from the chilies and the sesame. And switch off. Okay, so our stock's reducing. Our mushrooms are hydrated. And our stock strained is here. So if you want to look at here a bit closer, you can see there's a lot of this stuff I can't use. But if you kind of look in here, there are these little nuggets 
of meat that I want to save. And basically just shift through it and see what you can save out of it. Remember, this is all about minimizing waste and getting the most out of what we buy. Most of the products we, we, we buy at the shops, we bring home to cook. So that's it. That's everything out of it. Okay, so the next step is I want to slice the mushrooms. These are absolutely fantastic. You know, the flavor from these things, is, they're absolutely brilliant. So nice. give them a nice. Remember, these still need to be cooked. Still a little bit tough. So I'm going to add back into the stock as the stock's reducing. Okay. So I'm going to get them in here. Right, the next thing you want to look at is uh, what else are we going to serve with this? So I've got some snow peas that I've just cut in half long ways. I've got about 200 grams, 150 grams of cabbage. A bit of Thai basil, but I didn't have Thai basil, so I'm using normal basil. 200 grams of broccoli. Now the key to this is that everything's cut thin, so it cooks really, really fast. Now here I've got some soy sauce and I've got some um, fish sauce. I'm just going to add the fish sauce into it. It's about, I don't know, a quarter of a cup, maybe six tablespoons in there. Because we don't add salt to this. The salt comes from the fish sauce. And the soy sauce. Just a little bit in there. This is really dark soy sauce. I really don't want to use too much of that because I don't want to come up too black. But at the same time, I want that balance of uh, flavor in there. So you get this nice and lamy. Now I'll swap these over so you can actually have a better look. So you can see that now. That's the kind of color I'm after. So the last bit of chicken I've left, this chicken, it's the gift that keeps on giving. It never ends, which is brilliant. So these are fillets and some of the trims that took off those big breasts. Now, the same thing, for the broccoli is I want this cut thinly again because I want this to cook fast so it's going to be thin strips and I don't mind adding that and at the same time when we cook the broccoli because I want a really nice crunch of the broccoli by the time that gets to the stage I want it to be at the chicken will be nicely cooked as well now another way to make this meal go a little bit further would be egg so I want to poach some eggs I don't want to crack the egg and put it into it because what's going to happen is the egg could really get damaged and break up and you can get eggshells into it. So a tip I have is to break your egg, just put it into your uh, a bowl, and put it in like that. Oh, low simmer. Oh, that looks absolutely beautiful. So it should take about three minutes. Just be careful when you're putting the spoon in. You don't want to fish around with them too aggressively because if you do find it, you could pierce that yolk. And that yolk is what you want in your final product. I just want to add one of the last ingredients I have is a cider vinegar. Now you can use lime juice if you want or even lemon juice. But that sourness, that vinegar is a seasoning, it adds a sourness to just balance the dish because you got that soy sauce, fish sauce, all the chicken going in there, and the egg, you need something to cut across that uh, umami. Next thing you want to add in there is the broccoli, chicken, the mushrooms. Chicken's almost cooked. I'm going to leave that on a high heat. And while that's coming up to the high heat, I'm just going to start assembling the soup bowls. For the noodles. These are cooked egg noodles. I done it earlier on. It's the cabbage. We've got the snow peas. Okay, the last but not least, on the green side of things, is the, is the basil. With the slotted spoon, I'm going to take the broccoli, the chicken, and the shiitake mushroom out. Remember, this has only been in here for about two or three minutes max. Um, I just want it cooked enough and not overcooked. I just want to make a little kind of a hole or a well here. Or remember, these, these eggs aren't cooked through. So you can see they're still very much on the runny side. And this is exactly what I want. I'm going to get that in there. Put this in here. So these are the pieces of chicken that I took off. So I want the stock piping hot. It'll cook the cabbage, it'll cook the snow peas, it'll bring the noodles back up to heat. We'll finish cooking the egg, heat the chicken up, and there we go. The sesame and chili oil that we made earlier on. I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy cooking it. I know I'm going to enjoy eating it. Stay safe, and I'll chat to you next week.